Hi, this is Kristen Bryant for Stamping with Kristen. Today I'm going to show you how to make a quick and easy graduation card. I don't know about you, but there's some years where I have a lot more graduations than others to go to. And so um, it's kind of nice to have one card that you can just make for a bunch of people. To do the card that I'm going to um, show you, I have these three pieces of paper. This is a six inches by four inches. This is two and three fourths by two and three fourths. And this is, will be the inside where you write on. And that is three and three fourths by two and three fourths. So I'm gonna start by just folding in half the, um, this is kind of the card base. And so, just, um, put that on there like this. And then I'm gonna make my own little tassel. And I have here, this is the Baker's Twine Essentials Pack, and this is carrying over in our new catalog. And so I am going to um, take a bunch of this. Now I um, just cut a piece of cardstock that's two and three fourths, because that's the length that I want for this. And so I'm just gonna wind this around probably like five times. Kind of depends on if you can do more, if you want it to be bigger than that. And I'm gonna snip off the end. And I'm just gonna um, make kind of a bigger piece here. So I'm going to fold it in half. It's always harder to do this on video, working with twine. I um, am making this card for my son. He graduates next weekend, so we'll be flying to Tennessee where he went to college, so I'm excited for that. So I'm just tying this in a little knot, and then want that to be in the middle and then we're going to take it like this and cut open so then you have it like this and I've got this I just leave it extra long because I'm going to feed that through the cap um, the next thing I'm going to do is take a little bit more and this is just to tie this together so it's not just wide open. There have been times when we have carried tassels. Um, sometimes we've had black and gray ones and sometimes we've had bright colored ones. So if you still have some of those around, you could use those, but if not, you can easily make your own um, just with ribbon that you have on hand. And so I'm just tying this into a knot it looks like a mess, but it's holding it. So now what I like to do, now that I've got this, I just cut off the extra. So I'm gonna keep this one long and I'm gonna trim off the rest. Slide that up. So here's my little tassel. Actually, this one's gonna stick up because of the way I tied the knot on that one. I'm just gonna cut it off. <laughs> you don't have to worry about it. So what I'm gonna do now, so this is gonna be my graduation cap. And so I just have a piece of typing paper that I cut the same size, two and three fourths by two and three fourths. And I'm just gonna fold this in half and in half again to find the center. So then I know that when I pierce it, I want it to be right there. And then I just keep this and um, just keep using it again and again for other cards. So I'm gonna take my um, little take your pick tool and I'm gonna have the piercer end. And I'm just gonna stab right in the center. So now I know that that's perfectly in the center. Then I'm gonna take this long part here and feed that through. Sometimes you may need to um, trim the ribbon if it's or the twine if it's not wanting to go through. Like right now. I'm sure some of you could even just put this in a sewing needle if you wanted and get it through that way. So I have it um, just like this. And um, what I like to do just to make it even easier than just tying a big knot, I just put a little adhesive underneath it. Um, on one of the diagonals. 
and that'll just hold that in place. Now, because there's a hole here, I wanna cover that up. And so I'm gonna use our matte black dots. And this comes, there's um, several sizes of these, and I'm gonna use the largest one. I'll use the other end of the pick, take your pick tool, which needs more putty. Twist this up there. And I'm gonna just set that right and press firmly. So that just kind of holds it um, right, in, right in place there. So now I'm gonna look here. So I put adhesive here already. I'm gonna trim off this little extra piece. And I'm going to add adhesive just on this side. So I always like to double check. I'm putting this on here so that it lines up. This is how it looks on the back and this is how it looks on the front. And this go on this way. So here's the front of the card. And then it opens up like this. So I have this piece here. Again, this is two and three fourths by three and three fourths. And I'm just gonna take the stamp from Peaceful Moments. This is um, just a nice greeting set that's been around for a while. And I am going to um, get my black, black ink here. I'm gonna just stamp this on top. And we have many sets that have congratulations in them. So if you don't have the peaceful moments, you can just use any of your gratings. And then I just put this in here. Um, I did these measurements because they fit in our regular envelopes. And so that way um, you can just put this in the mail. You can um, you don't have to create your own envelope for that. I've also done it, um, like here's just with the basic gray um, and the black, just to kind of have some different variation. I've done them in green, if that's the school. And I, I looked up online and for my son, like they just do black. So that's why I wanted to do this one in all black, but you could end up, you could even add tassels um, down here if you wanted to do that. So again, this is a pretty simple um, graduation card, but it's just kind of fun. It's just not your typical, um, regular card. It's just kind of nice to have the shape. So I will put the information on my blog for this too in case you want to see the measurements there. I hope you get time to create soon.